Here you go foodies, this popular Asian sweet that is known out throughout the Middle East, Asia and Southern India, Egypt, known in various names such as Jalapi, Zalabi, Zulabia, Jalapi and Mushabak. And for us right here in the US known as Jalebi. So come on in and join me in Jenny's Walk to see how to put this lovely Jalebi sweets together. It can be garnished also with cashew pistachio. So join in the Jenny's Walk and let's put this lovely sweet dessert together. Hi foodies, welcome to my kitchen. This is Jenny here from Jenny's Walk. So foodies, today I'm going to make a lovely dessert for you. See that is Ramadan time. You could use this anytime. I'm going to be making jalebi. So what is jalebi? Jalebi is a popular sweet dish all over South Asia, Egypt and the Middle East. It's known by various names such as Jalapi, Zalabia, Zulbia, and Mushabak, just to name a few of the names around the world, that around the Asian world. When I was in Dubai, I had it and I really absolutely love it. And it's garnished with like saffron threads, almonds, and pistachio ground ones. You will, you know, garnish it with that. And it's usually served as a dessert at weddings and functions and all of that. So seeing, you know, it's like Eid time and now, you know, uh, sh Shivratri time now where the Muslims and my Muslim brothers and sisters and my Hindu brothers and sisters, you know, doing a lot of fasting and all of that. It's a wonderful time to share this lovely dessert with you. So when you break the fast, you know, you have this sweet dish that you could um, partake in when you eat your dinner. So my dear foodies, to make this lovely jalebi, all we need is flour here i have my flour i sieved already this is two and a half cups of all-purpose flour i'm going to be using one and a quarter cup of warm water half a cup of vanilla flavor yogurt if you have plain yogurt that's fine we could go ahead with that i like the vanilla flavor because it puts a nice flavor back into the jalebi and i have sugar actually i'm going to be using two cups of sugar the sugar is going to go into the syrup so i'm going to show that to you shortly we're going to be using some saffron treads you know the most expensive spice in the world i have some treads here and i'm just going to add some of the water in it to start infusing it there you go already start getting that beautiful color this is going to be used in the syrup to get a beautiful color and i have here one tablespoonful of baking soda now if you don't have baking soda a substitute is you know that andrew's liver salt fantastic for your stomach or eno if you lemon lime flavor you could use that what it really does it gives that bubbly effect and that is what we want so the baking soda act as that if you don't have it a great substitute will be the eno or the andrews so you go ahead with that and here i have three cardamom clove and a piece of um mace that's from the nutmeg this will go into the syrup all of this here is for the syrup and the sugar and of course i'm going to put one tablespoonful of lime juice to the syrup you're going to see step-by-step -step instructions when i start putting this lovely dish together here i have some zotero oil the zotero oil i have here is wild orange and here i have cinnamon cinnamon yeah this is cinnamon bark you see that foodies so what i'm going to do i'm going to drop one drop of this in my butter and the orange i'm going to put one drop of this in the syrup so i have a nice flavor going on there so for my muslim brothers and sisters and my hindu brothers and sisters if you're fasting um i'm an essence i'm going to be using some in the syrup and in the butter but this is made from alcohol so seeing that you're fasting my muslims brothers and sisters do not partake in alcohol whether they're fasting or not so the best substitute for this will be the kira water or rose water you could use this as the as the essence because this extract has alcohol and for my hindu brothers and sisters if you partake in wine and beer and whatever but at fasting time you could go ahead and use the rose water and if you just for my regular foodies who just there looking to make a nice dessert for at home it doesn't matter either one go ahead it's fine you know at jenny's walk we're here to learn share and create and i always like to share substitute with you and who cannot get certain ingredients you know not a problem i always like to show you an alternative uh, for my brothers and sisters who cannot get their hands on um the this saffron treads what you could do is use a, just a pinch of the haldi or turmeric and you could put it in the the syrup you will get a nice yellow color now i do not like the food coloring some of you prefer to use that that's all you could get if it's a last resort not a problem that will work just as fine 
but I always like a natural way. So if you could get the saffron, go ahead. If not, you get the turmeric, we'll use that too. So first, let's get this started. So what I like to do, my dear foodies, let's move all this away now, get the mixing going. I like to empty it from the mixing bowl in a bowl with a sprout. Or if you have a big mixing bowl with a handle and a sprout. Because this eventually we have to funnel it down and put it in a nice little round circle. So I like the sprout. So when I empty, when I mix all of this in and I'm ready to empty, it is very easy to come out of. So in here I have the flour, lovely. And I'm going to gently add my water, but I'm going to add that one drop of cinnamon there you go oh, that's two drops actually this is very potent and i will use the rose water with respect to my brothers and sisters there you go i will not be using the alcohol and then little at a time we're going to incorporate the flour and the water together you know i like to go little at a time there you go now after a while I'm going to change from this I'm going to be using my spatula get all of this out so you see how much water you need slowly little at a time because we want this in a nice smooth batter so let me go ahead and get this batter to the way we want it and then we will continue adding the rest of the ingredients there you go foodies this is what i want so now in goes the yogurt get all of them in there my parrot is giving me a hard time she's watching tv she's just talking away so my dear foodies you know here at jenny's walk we're here to learn we're here to share we're here to create so let me know what dessert you're making. My Muslim brothers and sisters in Islam and my brothers and sisters Namaste in Hindu. Let me know what dessert you have making or what you would like me to make before the season is over. But I know there's more festivals coming up too. So this is awesome. This is how I like it. Nice and runny because we have to let it fry. It have to go like a string. So now in goes the baking soda not the baking powder we're using baking soda give it a good mix incorporate everybody in there the baking soda is going to give it that bubbly effect and give it a little rise nice mix you see when you sieve the flour it comes out very smooth you see that this is what i'm looking for this is like really done now so i'm going to put this to rest i'm going to cover it and put it to rest for 15 minutes and then we're going to go to part two of preparing the jalebi there you go so now let's put this to rest and let's start with the syrup so here foodies i have two and a half cups of water i had it started to boil already on the fire so i'm going to put it back on in goes all of that uh, spices that we had and i'm going to add that one cup going to be two cups so that's one cup in there and this is another cup in here that's two cups of sugar going to give that a little mix let it dissolve a little bit in there and now i'm going to put two drops of the there you go the wild orange to give it a nice little flavor and then remember that saffron threads just mix it in there we want all our goodness in there you could even garnish this with the saffron threads lovely so i'm going to put this up now wow what a beautiful fragrant i love it so now dissolving the sugar in here and i'm going to put this up on the stove for a nice gentle boil that i will show to you as it goes by so don't forget to like and share this lovely recipe with your friends and your family, your neighbors, and let them have them join in too at Jenny's Walk, where we're going to learn and share from each other. So let me get this going now. So here, foodies, I have that syrup boiling very beautiful. And then in the back over here, I have that oil coming up to a nice warm heat to start frying this lovely jalebi dessert. So let's wait a little bit for that to be at the right temperature. So don't forget to like and share my lovely video with your friends and your family here at Jenny's Walk. 
So foodies, here we are. It has been 15 minutes and I have my batter really nice. So nice little bubbles there. So which means it has a nice little rise and that baking soda is all activated. So we need to go ahead now. So what we need, I have this little bottle with a little sprout with a nice little hole there that you're going to fill it up. We're going to put it into fry and you're going to need your funnel. So this is why I was telling you we need this little sprout. So what I'm going to do, put the funnel in. <laughs> I have no help it's just me alone so let's do this slowly and we're just going to pour some in just like so so this needs some air there you go okay i hope you see in this there you go foodies See, it's filling up really nicely in there. So let all of that go in just like so. That's enough. Put this back right in here to sit and wait. And I got that nice little cover there. So now, let's get this jalebi frying. Hey foodies, my oil is all hot and nice and I have this little apparatus here. So let's get it on. So we're going to go in some nice little circles and lock it in. One, two, we're going to do three at a time because uh, we have to be able to control it. I have this little, <laughs> my little tea infuser that I'm going, has a little tip there that I'm going to just use to, to turn it. Could do another one right here just like so there you go beautiful so the first one seems to needs a little flip just like so wow you have to be a little creative sometimes in the kitchen foodies and it, it works fine so we get a nice gentle fry we do not want this all overwhelmingly hot because uh, I want to cook it remember it's flour so we want that to get a nice golden brown, not raw inside. And it's going to be like um, like a honeycomb. It's going to suck up a lot of that syrup. And that is where the flavors comes in. So we're going to get a nice beautiful color. I'm going to raise the heat a little bit because putting in the last one, lower the temperature. Doesn't that look marvelous? Simple and easy jalebi, jalapi look at that so we're going to leave it now let it get a beautiful color and then we're going to come back so my dear foodies this looks beautiful so now you it's all together so you don't have to worry now so just take your there you go oh, one fell off grab everybody and be careful you get burned okay she doesn't want to come and just take it out very nicely this is going to go into the syrup so let me do one more so you could take a look and see how this is done raise the heat up a little more get the sprout in turn and turn and make a nice size lock it in round and round and round and lock it back in another round and lock it back in the one over here round and round lock it back in <laughs> beautiful isn't it so we're going to bring the heat back down and let that get nice and crisp and then we're going to flip it isn't that marvelous so thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen my dear foodies don't forget to like and share my lovely video with your friends and your family you all know here at jenny's walk we're here to learn and share and to create our videos with each and every one so please share my videos so i could stay in network to bring you all these marvelous dishes that you could make at home easy do it all you need is just a few ingredients and some help from jenny's at jenny's walk and a little inspiration and here we get it and this is where all the fun begin and all the creation and all the love begin in cooking at jenny's walk so let's continue frying all these jalebi Zulabia, Zalabia, Jalapia, Mushhabak. All these lovely names this uh, dessert is named as. 
and some of my island people in the Caribbean and they know it as jalebi also and it is made as a sweet dessert just as it is made and served in the Middle East. So let's get cooking. So foodies, here we have that lovely syrup boiling away really nicely there. So now I'm gonna add that lemon juice, lime juice, sorry. Give it a little stir and just let's take a little, you see that little stickiness there? You see that my dear foodie? Let me do it again. go it's very light so what we're gonna do I'm gonna dip it in now just gonna take our jalebi just like so we're gonna put them in for like two minutes just immerse them in there for like two minutes you know and then you're gonna take them out and you could also dredge them down so for the video I'm just mentioning to you what you're doing at two minutes but I'm going to dredge it quickly and take them out so you can see exactly what the steps are. And at the end of it, I'm going to take the rest of the syrup and just drizzle it over all the jalebi or jalebi, whatever name you call it as, whatever name you're comfortable with. You see, I put them out nicely in a vessel platter or something like that and then you will drizzle it with the rest of the syrup and you can garnish with saffron shreds there you go so let me finish up frying and dipping and we will garnish now if you're allergic to the nuts like myself just put the nuts on the side where your guests could use it for them they could enjoy it with the nuts and you could have yours plain. So that is what I will be doing, giving it to my guests, but I will not partake in the nut. And this is so lovely. What a delicious dessert. So let me finish up and we will be back. So there you go, my foodies. Jenny's walk always deliver. Take a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And this is one, two plates of that lovely jalebi. All you have to do now, you just garnish with pistachio cashew or whatever nut you wish to you just garnish and you serve it they all soaked and dredged in that lovely syrup that we made together we put in that saffron treads for that earthy flavor the cardamom and all those lovely spices together so here you go marvelous how can you resist this so don't forget to like and share this lovely video with your friends and your family at uh, jenny's walk join in so let's take a look now at this lovely look at it really crunchy look at that wow mmm delightful mmm can't stop eating this now and, and the lovely sizes that I did lovely individual size you go ahead and do it so you know your, your guests wouldn't waste your snack or your dessert you know the one little bite size personal size ones and if you want you could make a couple of big ones so here I have a little bigger size so it's always best to make personal size so we don't want to waste remember that and this could be served cold or at room temperature what's left put it in an airtight container and leave it in the refrigerator and you could serve it up serve it up another day for dinner as now is Eid Mubarak time and you're breaking your fast at night you just put it up and you could always have it to serve again it will last up to one week remember it's flour based so thank you my dear foodies so leave it a comment below and let me know what you think about this marvelous idea and the job that I'm doing to bring all these lovely desserts and food recipe to you all so thank you again for joining me from my kitchen to your kitchen happy cooking